Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of the Vintage Weekends. This is the third and last video about our summer holiday in Portugal. So this time we will visit a flea market together and then we will bring you along with us to the most beautiful locations of Portugal. So let's start the vlog. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I must tell the truth. Yes, always. Okay. <laughs> so this is my palace. No, this is not the truth. Yeah. This is Mateus Palace. Everybody. Good morning. We are in the city of Porto. Today the video is dedicated to the Feira da Vandoma. Did I say it correctly? Yeah. Correctly, Maybe. I think. <laughs> this is every Saturday of the month. Uh, it's a little bit outside the center of the city, but it's also easy to get here by foot if you want. Well, the market is behind us. Yes. Not super big. Very Marche de Bus. Ah, very junky. It looks like a junky market. Junk. So let's see what we can find. And for this uh, event, I dress oh, my new your new shirt, shirt that I thrifted for you. Yeah. You look amazing. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's, let's go. go. Oh, nice! It will never fit in our suitcase. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah, we can. Uh, yes. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, the letters. There's the A for Aurora. <laughs> There's not the F for Fabiano. Like that, the dish with mice. It's it's a really it's kind of a car boot sale. It's a really junky. <laughs> <laughs> well, but who knows? Oh, Carla! Sapato! Sapato! These are ancient uh, dresses for dolls, I think. There's a whole collection here. That's interesting. Oh, this is pretty. Really pretty. Well, the good thing about this market is that uh, it's for locals. There's not many tourists, uh, not many. Nobody speaks English, so you've got to bargain using your hands. <laughs> it's it's fun. It's a fun experience. Showing the, 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 the money. Showing the money. Showing the bills. <laughs> this is a vintage shirt. 
it's pretty. You only need to steam the small flowers. Then look at the color. This is by H&M. <laughs> That's in better condition. I thought they were vintage. They were by Sheen. Uh, this one is vintage. Not my size. There's a mix of everything here. You really need to go through all the clothes to find something. This one is by Zara. Very summery. Oh, a nice blanket, handmade. I lost my husband. Oh, he's over there. Come back! No, he's telling me to go on. But uh, there's so much stuff. It's not easy to see everything. I want to see everything because nobody knows what we are going to find, right? Did you find something? Not yet. <laughs> Little rocking horse. Pretty. Oh, this is vintage. Yeah, but you know that I've got to stay away from this because the princess Aurora died before because of this. She fell in a, a kind of a endless sleep. Eternity sleep. Yes. <laughs> It's as if she was dead. Very small fountain. This is an ancient piece. Hand painted, made of ceramic. Very interesting. What have you found? I found a mirror. Yeah. We are asking 10 euros. I think it's a fair price. Are you sure that it's a fair price? Yes, it is. Uh, because it's really vintage, you can see it from the back. You don't want uh, to buy, ask eh? uh, to, uh, is that to, to... Yes. Come on. Now I'm looking if there's anything else that I like. Okay. Then. For my new size. Is it okay? I don't know. So for who? <laughs> I know for who. But they are big. Ooh, those are big vases. Ooh, scarves. I am always looking for silk scarves. Not easy to browse here. <laughs> I'm trying to find a new shirt, another shirt for you. <laughs> Not easy here. Oh, oh it's a fake one. <laughs> Who knows? Nice. By Mango. Show me the, the brand. Who nice. knows if I will fit in here. <laughs> How much for this? Uh, La <laughs> Expensive? Yes, because I don't know if it will fit me. And it's not elastic. So real leather, long coat by Guess. Are you sure that it's real leather? Yes, yeah. I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, you never. I can even feel real leather. Uh -huh. It's not my style. Uh -huh. but, but you can also find this. They are huge. <laughs> Impossible to bring home, but guys, what a find. I, I want this, baby. You want? This, this baby. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. 
It's a similar uh, uh, to our market of Brugine, oh, Brugine. Brugine that we have in Italy. Um, the prices are very low, yeah, quite low, quite low. Uh, so you can really find uh, good good bargains. Uh, and, but there is a mix of uh, things. <laughs> Lots of clothes. We have everything. What are you looking for? Wow. Oh, by Timberland. Yes, but I don't, I don't <laughs> see the, the size. <laughs> Beautiful. This would be a great gift for my mom. She collects uh, antique fans. This is not antique, it's just a vintage piece. But I think that she would like to use it as a frame. What do you think? My love, could you please stop by heavy things that you put in my sack? Your rucksack. 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 Oh, but, but, but I'm finding beautiful things. I can't leave them behind. No, no. Okay. One euro. Here I found this Levi's shirt. It's an extra small. So it's too small for me, but it's cute. Uh, so we finished with this market, but there is another one that we really? will visit. Really? Yes. Oh, the sun is shining. Yeah, <laughs> but the shadow is still cold. Yes. And windy. Yes, but I can spot the market over there. Over there. Mm -hmm. It is called. Uh, Mercado dos Clérigos, because that is the Tower of Clérigos. I think it's a kind of arts and crafts market. I can't see any vintage vendor here. It's a very small market. <laughs> There's nothing vintage. Okay, let's have lunch. <laughs> And here it is, this is the whole of the day and I must say that the colors are amazing. So let's start from the scarves. These are all vintage squared scarves made of silk. The brown and the floral ones are probably from the 60s, while the lilac one is a more recent piece from India. Then I found this pretty little vase. The style is very similar to the Italian Vitossi vases. It is hand engraved and hand painted. The Baroque mirror is probably from the first half of the 20th century. The glass is beveled and the metal has darkened, but I think this gives it more personality, so I won't polish it. This wonderful Indian table runner has a beautiful floral decoration. I truly like the chain stitching technique, so this is definitely my favorite find of the day. Then I got the pretty velvet shorts for our baby girl, who will be born around the middle of December. I know that it will take a long time before she will fit into these, but they are so pretty and I couldn't leave them behind. The denim crop top fits me perfectly and I wore it a couple of times back in Italy, paired with the high-rise wide leg trousers. Of course, I also got the wonderful fan frame for my mom and I suggested to wait until we can put a picture of me, her and the baby girl. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? 
This was the haul from the market, but I will add a couple more pieces during this video, so stay tuned and enjoy the beautiful tour of Portugal. And if you want to see other vintage markets and thrift stores with us, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. from the Santuario do Bom Jesus. This was the movement. Can we do it together? Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> it, there's also a lot of stairs here and there are also the gardens. Hmm. It's a beautiful place. Yes. Point discovered. Ancient uh, cave. Cave, cave. One of the most beautiful libraries in the world. It's Very in a, yes, Art Nouveau style, which I love, and uh, it's really amazing. Lello Library I got this gorgeous and also quite expensive book. It's a special English edition with tales from the 1001 Nights, a book that I've always wanted to read. <laughs> Have you finished? Yes! <laughs> How was it? It was a night lunch. What? <laughs> I am at this point. <laughs> But there are a lot of delicious here. Yes. Everything smells very good. This morning we were there. <laughs> now we are climbing up another hill to get to the cathedral.
Cosa hai trovato? Ah, found this lovely heart shaped tree. <laughs> it's, a, it's a special piece for, for little portraits. I never found anything like this before and I discovered that it is a traditional family tree probably from Ukraine and you should put the portraits of your family in the small frames. That's very interesting. I will list this one together with other items that you will see in this video on my webshop and you will find the link down in the info box. It's a beautiful day, not very hot but sunny. It's raining, <laughs> but with this beautiful landscape, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please give it a thumbs up and give your support to this channel. We will see you very, very soon in the next episode. Ciao! Good night!